हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल केमिस्ट्री बाय सिवम एजुकेशन इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सरफेस केमिस्ट्री ये आपकी जी नीट का मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर है एवरी ईयर जी नीट की एग्जाम में इंफॉर्मेशन बेस्ड एटलीस्ट वन और टू क्वेश्चन आर आस्क इन एग्जाम सो नाउ लेट्स वी स्टार्ट सरफेस केमिस्ट्री फर्स्ट वी टू डिफाइन वॉट इज मीन बाई सरफेस केमिस्ट्री तो सरफेस केमिस्ट्री को इस तरह से डिफाइन किया जा सकता है The study of boundary line. The study of boundary line separating two bulk phase. Now, or we can say that boundary line separate two bulk state. Now, anything which is present in a large quantity or in bulk state, we can say as a phase. So instead of two bulk state, we can write a phase also. is known as a surface chemistry so what is mean by surface chemistry we can define very easily or simply surface chemistry is nothing but the study of boundary line separating two bulk state or phase is known as surface chemistry so in surface chemistry generally we are used to study change occur on surface we can study change occur on surface or we can study about nature of surface we can study nature of surface suppose uh, when we have any petrol tank then minute crack will be there that can uh, create a large accident suppose this minute crack can be studied thickness of crack can be studied by using a surface phenomena generally uh, at a variety of places surface phenomena will be applied or it will be used so we can simply define what is meant by surface chemistry the surface chemistry is a branch of chemistry which deals with the study of boundary line separating two bulk state or we can say two phase now uh, in cricket match when we observe the cricket match it is observed that there is a one rock is um, put it in ground यदि उसके बाहर गेंद जाती है दैट विल बी ए फोर और सिक्स सो इन साइड क्रिकेट ग्राउंड एंड आउटसाइड ग्राउंड कैन बी सेपरेटेड विथ हेल्प ऑफ बाउंड्री लाइन सो दिस बाउंड्री लाइन इज नथिंग बट वट एवर बाउंड्री लाइन इज देर इट इज नथिंग बट इंटरफेस सो वी हैव टू नो अबाउट ए इंटरफेस वॉट इज मीनिंग ऑफ इंटरफेस देन दिस बाउंड्री लाइन वट एवर बाउंड्री लाइन विच इज सेपरेटिंग टू स्टेट टू फेस इज नॉन एज ए इंटरफेस so interface is nothing but boundary line this boundary line is separating a two phase so it is considered as a interface now thickness of interface suppose uh, whatever interface we have put it it has a definite thickness this thickness of interface is determined with help of size of molecule by using the size of molecule one can determine what is the thickness of interface पहले जब क्रिकेट हो रहा था तो रॉक को यूज किया जाता था उसकी थिकनेस कम थी नाउ इट इज जस्ट वन टाइप ऑफ कार्डबोर्ड पुटेड इन ग्राउंड व्हिच इज सेपरेटिंग टू फेस और टू पार्ट ऑफ ग्राउंड सो साइज ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल डिटरमाइन थिकनेस ऑफ इंटरफेस सपोज हमारी स्किन है तो आवर बॉडी इज वन सॉलिड फेस इट विल बी ऑलवेज इन कांटेक्ट विद द एयर सो एयर इज अ गैसियस फेस now the solid and gaseous phase are always in contact with each other and coexisting separately so our skin is nothing but a interface ab hamare skin ki comparison hum elephant ke skin ke sath karenge then thickness of elephant skin will be more so why it is uh, thickness is more because size of molecule of skin of elephant is large so thickness of interface is depending upon size of molecule now one more thing interface is generally denoted by hyphen or we can give by using a slash also suppose i will write in this way uh, for example i will write in this way solid solid the meaning of this solid solid in between this dash is put it it means two solid phase are in contact with each other and interfaces present in between them 
Similarly, we can write in this way solid liquid. Then meaning of this solid liquid is that the two different phase solid and liquid are in contact with each other. They are coexisting with each other but they are separated by boundary line. Similarly, we can give this solid gas also. So, the meaning is that solid phase and gaseous phase is in contact with each other and separated by interface. But it is observed that, it is observed that I can't write these things, gas and gas. It is observed that gas and gas phase is not possible. Why? Because it gives us homogeneous mixture. Now it is homogeneous mixture, there is a no boundary line separating in between gas and gas. They diffuse with each other thoroughly. So, boundary line means interface is not possible in between gas and gaseous phase. Remaining for all, we can write this interface. So, interface is nothing but boundary line separating two bulk phase. It is a uh, thickness of interface is depending upon size of molecules. Interface can be uh, represented or denoted by hyphen or slash. There is a lot of different uh, phase are possible solid, solid, solid liquid, solid gas, but gas, gas, in between gas and gas, interface is not possible. So, in this chapter, we have to study about surface phenomena. What is meant by surface phenomena? Then, the study of boundary lines separating two phase. These two phase are in contact with each other and separated or they are coexisting separately with each other. It is considered as a surface phenomena. So, the study of phenomena in which two phase are in contact with each other but coexisting separately. This is known as surface phenomena. So there are a lot of example of surface phenomena which we have to study in this chapter or we are already knowing about this. Suppose different type of electrode reactions. Variety of reaction occur on the surface of electrode. An example of this surface phenomena then corrosion of metal. Corrosion of metal. Now this corrosion of metal is example of surface phenomena. Metal will always in contact with the gaseous phase or in liquid phase and corrosion occur slowly. Similarly, we can write crystallization. Now in crystallization, pure uh, saturated solution of compound is prepared and slowly, slowly solid will come out. So solid and liquid are connected with each other and separately also. So crystallization, then we can write dissolution also. There are a lot of example of this surface phenomena uh, in industrial chemistry. Variety of heterogeneous catalyst we are using. So, we can say that heterogeneous catalysis. This heterogeneous catalysis is also example of surface phenomena. So, this about variety of this phenomena we have to study in surface chemistry. So, it is observed that surface chemistry is most useful in analytical chemistry. In analytical chemistry, we have to perform variety of analysis. So, for an, in analytical chemistry, similarly we can say that in a industrial chemistry, in manufacturing of variety of industrial product, surface phenomena is the most, most important. Now, to study the surface phenomena, very pure surface is required. Achha. Pure surface we need, which way we will get pure surface? Then pure surface, whatever required, pure surface is required to study the surface phenomena. This pure surface, we need 10 plus 2 minus 8 to 10 plus 2 minus 9 Pascal high vacuum. By using this high vacuum, by using this high vacuum, pure surface can be obtained. Suppose, uh, हमारे जो कार के सोफा होते हैं, उसको हम क्लीनर की मदद से, वैक्यूम क्लीनर की मदद से उसकी सरफेस क्लीन करते हैं। तो सरफेस पर जो टाइनी डस्ट होती है, उसको बाहर निकाल लेते हैं, वैक्यूम क्लीनर की मदद से। So by using vacuum cleaner, the surface can be clean. 
same concept, same thing. To study the surface phenomena, pure surface is required. Such a pure surface can be obtained by creating 10 raised to minus 8 to 10 raised to minus 9 Pascal vacuum. Now, in this surface chemistry chapter, we have to study about what is meant by adsorption phenomena, the variety of type of adsorptions, then colloidal state, then variety of catalysis, homogeneous, heterogeneous, enzyme catalysis. So, about all these things, we have to study in this chapter. So, friends, if you like my lecture, then don't forget to like and subscribe. In next lecture, we will study about what is meant by adsorption phenomena.